I think we have to look at what a developing country's priorities are. So we're, we're looking at the majority of the world, Africa, South America, and much of Asia. Now, their concept of human rights and developmental human rights, which is the right to escape poverty, which is the right to a, having a full belly, a roof over your head, and to not be cold, to have education. Now, in, in that respect, you know, there's no country that's done more these developmental human rights. Um, 800 million people lifting out of poverty, you know, it's, it's unprecedented. Um, now, can China do better? Of, of course it can, you know. Um, and if you if you watch Chinese media and if you speak to Chinese uh, citizens as well, they're always saying, we, we want to have a, a better life. You know, we, we, we want to be more developed. We want to improve uh, the conditions of our people. Um, now, the, the problem is, I think, Western countries actually don't, uh, we're very bad at sort of putting ourselves in other people's places, you know, uh, what, what, are the, what are the rights of a developing country, because we, we, we think we're developed, but actually, you know, when I, I look at uh, Britain now and, and my trips to America, you know, I see a lot of homelessness, and I sometimes think this sort of arrogance that, that we have the monopoly of of what human rights are stops ourselves from from you know improving our lives and, and taking a good look at our societies so yeah you know i, th I think um i think in these things uh in developmental rights i think china is doing an, an excellent job and i think the west needs to be a, a bit more cognizant of um what they where their troubles are and where and what the priorities of others are The real situation in Xinjiang, it's, it's obviously complex. Uh, I've been to Xinjiang myself. I've got a lot of Uyghur friends um, and I've got, a, I've got a lot of Han Chinese friends that live in Xinjiang as well. So I think, first of all, you have to look at what the situation is in, in Xinjiang. And the situation is that there, there has been a lot of terrorism in Xinjiang. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about that. Now, we have to look, why was there this terrorism in Xinjiang? Part of the problem was a lack of development so we, we, we can but this this wasn't necessarily just in Xinjiang this was in the entire west of China the other problem of course is Afghanistan so Afghanistan and, and previously also northern Pakistan it was a it was a recruiting ground for jihadi terrorists and um, unfortunately uh, in part due to poverty a lot of Uyghurs were attracted to this ideology now evidently China cannot do what America does. America, and, and contradictorily, China, of course, China's terrorist problem has been much worse than Europe or, or America. Now, what would Europe and America do? Well, well they, they bomb countries, you know, they invade them um, to solve these terrorist problems. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes it uh, comes down to trumped up human rights claims. For example, I I Iraq, you know, it was a human rights war to save them, but you actually commit the worst atrocity against against these people for, for me i just you know I, I grew up in the in the gulf war in the first and second gulf war I, I remember them quite well i remember how in the media for the first gulf war we had the the stories of um the killing baby stories by iraqi troops which ended up to be ended up to be a complete falsity and of course the weapons of mass destruction that were false and of course saddam hussein had nothing to do with the the terrorist attacks of 9-11. In, in fact, he was supported by the Americans up until a, a certain point. So, you know, for me, it's very, it's very scary looking at these, these reports that appear in the media and people don't seem to, in the West, they don't seem to have a memory of how we've, we've started other wars based on what I would call atrocity propaganda. Um, and it, sometimes it's completely fabricated. Sometimes it distorts the situation. Um, sometimes, you, you know, there, there, there's some truth, but it's it's completely magnified. And the real tragedy is, is when I look at human rights in in the world, and I think, well, what, what are the worst? What is the worst um, human rights atrocity that could be committed? And it's war. And it's invasion. It's invasion of another country. It it destroys. It absolutely destroys the developmental rights that these people have. It, of course, it makes the place unsafe. 
the amount of deaths it causes is, is hideous.